Good afternoon. This is Susan, and this is Susan's Ramblings. Please like, subscribe, and comment on my videos. It helps me a lot. And share, so we get more subscribers. And so I hit my 100 subscribers, and then we will have a giveaway of two things. So keep sharing and keep commenting. Today we're dehydrating potatoes. Potatoes are especially hard to dehydrate unless you get, and most of the potatoes have lots and lots of starch in them. And that's what makes them so good. But, that starch will turn black when you dehydrate them. And so, potatoes are especially hard to dehydrate. I got around, get around that problem by cooking them. I cook all my potatoes before I dehydrate them. In fact, I will peel them and I will slice them or whatever I want to do for them. And I will let them sit in water. And then I will rinse them. And then I will let them sit in more water. And then I will rinse it again. And then I will cook. The rinsing gets out a lot of the starch. But you're still going to have a lot of starch when you cook it. So, what I do when I cook it, after I've cooked it, then I put it back in the strainer, and I rinse it, and I rinse it, and I rinse it, until there's no more starch, until the water starts running clear. Now, it takes some time to do this. You can't just pop this in like my celery, or like my cabbage, or like something like that. So, it does take time, but the rewards are great. I will use these slices for, um fried potatoes and onions with sausage or with um, potato salad or with scalloped potatoes or garden potatoes. You can use it for anything and it, since I've got all the starch out of there I hope then our potatoes won't turn back. If they turn back on you they still they're still okay they taste all right but they sure don't look very good so um we try to avoid the black if possible, and that's by getting out all our starch. Um, this is slices that I do did today. I think I had about ten pounds of it. Uh, nope, not about seven pounds of slices is what I got. This is my second batch of slices. Uh, slices that I'm putting in today. I put one slice, one, uh, two trays in already. So this will be my seventh tray by the time I'm done here. Okay, so that makes, so in, if you want to keep track, it's about a pound for a tray, okay? Since I did seven pounds and I got seven trays, seven figure one pound more or less to a tray. That's my trays. Now if your trays are bigger, you'll probably be better off. Remember, I got a cheapie. And my fan comes from the bottom, not from all sides, like the uh, more expensive ones do. But it serves me just right. So there's my dehydrating potatoes. Like I said, make sure you get all the starch out. I rinse it, I soak it, I drain it, I rinse it, I drain it, I rinse it. I don't know how many times. But anyway, eventually you get that all that starch out. These are russet potatoes, and I got the feeling that they've got more starch in than the red potatoes. But we'll find out because I've got 20 pounds of red potatoes to do yet too. So we'll find out if they are more starch or not. Anyway, that's how I do my potatoes. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps you a little bit. Remember, I cook mine ahead of time. The next batch I will do, uh, if they'll be red, I think I'll just mash them. When I cook them, I don't add anything to the water except the potatoes. I do not add salt. I do not add any kind of fat. I just cook them as the way they are. I might put some garlic in there at times to put a little more flavor in it, but I didn't this time. And um, for the mashed potatoes, there again, I will not add butter. I will not add milk. I will not add salt. I will just have plain old mashed potatoes with nothing added to it. I can always add what I need to it or what I want when I rehydrate them. So anyway, 
these are the slices when I rehydrate them uh, if I use scalloped potatoes I'll use a cream sauce uh, a garden potatoes will be a cheese sauce potato salad well it's mayonnaise based sauce um, there you go that's how you do it have a great day God bless you and we'll see you tomorrow bye bye